I did some tests for videos on the main channel today and I'm having to walk back home because my better half needed a car for a university meeting and I kind of forgot how far it is or at least fields and you get this much weight on the back and a bunch of things probably can't see that too well but uh, yeah so um, definitely um, decent exercise I would say it's a beautiful day though it's uh, cooled down now after a bit of a heat wave and it's quite nice especially now in the evening Yeah, I want a bike too right now. I mean, I have one, but it's, it's at home. Uh, I gotta, gotta ride here, but I figured, you know, I can, I can just walk back home. Yep, fun times. So, even though I got a lot done, I'm a little dissatisfied because all well, things didn't go quite as I was hoping. It always sucks when I test any kind of product for a review and it fails and then I have to ask myself okay did it fail because of me that wasn't my fault did, did I um, expect too much of it did I abuse it too much or you know did I just not use it right or well enough or anything like that because it's 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 a lot clearer when you're trying to accomplish something with a thing and it works then you can yeah they, there's a proof you know this can be done because you just did it whereas if it didn't work then that doesn't mean it can't be done you know what I mean and the other thing is imposter syndrome basically that's a common term it comes from psychology it's usually applies to um, academia and a variety of professions celebrities have that too the essentially the feeling that you don't deserve to be where you are like you don't know as much as you should in your position considering what you do <coughs> you're not enough of an expert at what you do you're not skilled enough or whatever it is like sometimes you feel like you don't belong there and that's a very common thing a lot of people have that and yeah that includes me like the kind of thing that I'm doing here sometimes it's particularly when you're a little uh, too self-critical maybe it feels like I'm not living up to what people expect what we're here for not so much on this channel, it's mainly the other channel. On this channel I just do whatever the heck I want and don't worry too much about it. And it seems to work, oddly enough. People seem to like it so far. Anyway, um, so I know that physically I'm not, I'm not great by any means. I mean, I've never been remarkably physically fit. Um, in fact, throughout my my teens and in young adulthood I was a lot worse and now I was fatter and less fit but now I also have the chronic knee injury, chronic shoulder injury uh, lately I've been having tendonitis in the wrist and it's just things keep accumulating even though I'm not that old yet you know mid 30s 36 isn't that bad yet but it feels more like 45 at least Anyway, um, so that's also a factor where, like, I do a test with something, especially particularly blunt weapons, and then it doesn't have, it doesn't leave as much of a mark, or you know, it doesn't it doesn't accomplish what I'm what I'm hoping, but somebody else could. You know? So uh, I often think I should be stronger and faster and smarter and more skilled and more experienced and more entertaining and more everything and uh, yeah, can 
get a little you know, frustrating at times. I mean, it can also be a source of motivation, of course. But uh, it depends a little bit on how well it goes. I mean, as far as physical strength is concerned, I've always struggled with putting on muscle and building strength. Uh, even as a teenager, which is a prime time for doing that, of course, when I was lifting weight uh, and I was on a meat diet, you know, pretty meat rich, and um, nothing. <laughs> I didn't gain anything significant whatsoever. Very, very minor improvement. And over the years, I kind of went on exercise and off and changed diets a bunch of times and did a, a whole lot of things trying to work through that. And lately I've been making more progress than I have before, so things seem to be going better. Um, but still not ideal, of course. I mean, nothing ever is, really, let's face it. However, and here comes the positive message in all this. If you're in the same boat, if you're trying to accomplish something and you're getting set back after set back and it feels like you're not getting there, the most important thing is to not give up. I mean, of course, what also matters is strategy, you know. You know working hard is fantastic, of course, but you need strategy. You need to work smart as well. So if something doesn't work, you may have to stop and reevaluate and see if there's something you can change to improve your odds of success and all that. Be more productive instead of just trying to run with the head through the wall. But sometimes you just gotta crash through the wall or at least, you know, try. Just keep running against the wall. Because, you know, sometimes it just takes a, a couple of attempts. Or a dozen or several dozen. But every time you learn something, you know, at least that was the case uh, with me here. You know, every time I, I went through the weight loss process and, and the, you know, trying to get in, in better shape process, every time, even when I failed or you know, at some point gave up and then had to go back to it a while later, um, I still learned something and the next attempt was better. So as frustrating as it's been, I'm, I'm not going to give up. I mean, I may temporarily <laughs> give up. I have done that. Where occasionally the, the frustration just accumulated too much and I just, I just dropped it for a while. But then I, I refused to stay down, so to speak, and just got back to it. You know, as much as it sucks, but it's... Uh, yeah, gotta keep trying. That's what life is all about. Struggle and improvement and all these other other glorious motivational things. <laughs> I'm, I'm undermining my own point. So I should probably stop here and uh, uh, keep, keep treading on. So I hope you're having a good day and I wish you success with whatever endeavors you might be undertaking. Have a good one, folks.